Um, this is my first time using it. Sounds okay? Great. Um, what we want to do today is just kind of introduce you guys to me, the men of God that have had an impact in my life and an impact in this ministry. So you guys will kind of understand the background and some of the things, why we think the way that we think. And so I'd like to introduce my pastor, the man of God that embraced me when I didn't want to be embraced. Um, and tell, not in that, not in that way. <laughs> the man of God that um, poured into me many years ago that saw something in me that he was willing to um, take the time to share with me the things of God, expose me to um, the truth of God, and lead me in the direction that I, that I should have went. Um, I thank God for him because um, out of all the people that I could have met, I believe he was the perfect ideal person for me to meet. I'm sure that there are a lot of good pastors in Tallahassee, but the one that um, God sent me to was the ideal person for me. So this is Pastor Joseph Henderson, He's the pastor of Celebrate Woo! someone who I feel like I've known for many years. Um, Pastor James Womack is a man of God that we met um, last year when we went to Kingdom Agenda Fellowship of Churches. It was right after we had stepped out by faith. Me and my wife were sitting in the, um, in the house and we were like, this is the time. God is saying move forward. And she looked at me and she said, are you sure? God said this is the time. Uh, we had no people no one had agreed to partner with us. Um, we had limited resources, uh, but we had uh, a knowing that God would grace the situation if we stepped out by faith. And so we went out to the Kingdom Agenda Fellowship of Churches, and um, Pastor Womack um, has been with Dr. Evans for uh, about 10 years where he was on staff as the um, uh, pastor of education. So he facilitates a lot of the Kingdom Agenda Fellowship classes. So some of the classes that we were taking, um, we were just in awe, didn't know, you know, hundreds of pastors there, didn't know which room to go in, we were just there, excited about what God was getting ready to do. And so, um, for some reason, Pastor Womack took a liking to us. Um, he took us out to eat uh, several times and he shared with us, you know, some things, asked us some questions, some very probing questions about what the mission was, what was the vision, what did we want to do in Panama City, Florida. And after that, you know, a couple days went by and I asked him, I said, well, Pastor Womack, I got to ask you this. Why are you asking us for lunch and all these other pastors? He said, well, it has to be God. He said, because I've been thinking about you guys every night, told my wife about you guys. And ever since that day, one year ago, Pastor Womack has taken the time from his ministry, taken the time from his family. Every Sunday, he met with us on a conference call for an hour share with us about certain things that we could be thinking about as far as planting this ministry on purpose, putting certain systems in place so that when people came, we would be able to minister to the people effectively, and just making sure we had the right infrastructure. So this man of God, uh, although I've only known him for a year, I feel like I've known him forever. He's a friend to me, he's a friend to the family, and he's a friend to the, man um, to the ministry. Pastor James Womack of Destiny Church, Fort Worth, Texas. give each person um, about four minutes just to share with you their background, their ministry, and their connection with us. I went over a little bit so they can kind of add a little whatever they like. Pastor Henderson. This chair is a little bit tall or whatever. I can't fight to get up on <laughs> Just five, nine. Five, eight, six. <laughs> The Kingdom of Jim is, is, is just wonderful to be here with you. We're very proud of this major step and transition 
that uh, you're experiencing, and we're just thankful that God has allowed us to play a small part in that. Uh, several years ago when we met Brother Andrews at that time and his wife Zenobia, uh, I forget what, it was, what was going on, but some way we ended up, I think what we had was a basketball team, and, and we met them and asked them to come out on the basketball court, at least him, and I didn't know his wife was a uh, former college basketball player. And so she showed up <laughs> outside on the court. And you know, I'm more of a football player, but, you know. But anyway, we were out there fellowshipping, and the next thing you know, she got the ball, and, and I had to check her a little bit. So, you know, I, I was being the gentleman, trying to stay back off and everything. And all of a sudden, she came up on me and hit me with an elbow. <laughs> They ended up coming to the church to visit us where we share with them our mission and our vision. At Celebrate New Life Tabernacle, our mission is to produce spiritually productive people for effective ministry through Christ-centered teaching and good works. Coming from Ephesians chapter 4, verses 11 and 12. We wanted our people to be properly trained in the things of God so that when we went out to engage our world with ministry, that not only would we have the knowledge to do so, but we would be effective with the help of God and the power of the Holy Spirit to make that happen. And as a result of sharing that mission with them and then letting them see the vision as to how we will bring that about by establishing a strong Bible-based Bible teaching church. Amen. Right. Amen. 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 Where the Word of God is taught and hopefully it penetrates the heart and falls on good ground and brings forth magnificent fruit. Yes. That's what we're all about. And so with them hearing that, they decided to come on board and then afterwards, after a few years, I began to see this young man, he was hungry for more of the Word of God, and then sharing with me that he believed God had a calling on his life, and then I felt that that next thing that I needed to do was to come alongside him and provide the resources and the training and the That's mentoring right. that would be necessary to help him fulfill his God-given call and mission. And with that, we just poured into his life, and the next thing I know, Kingdom Agenda, and Kingdom Agenda International Ministries is birthed and we have brought our membership here to help celebrate this launching, and we are extremely proud of you. Yeah. Thank you, thank you. Now, Pastor Womack. He said so. Now, Pastor Womack, now, Pastor Womack is one of the few people they can get any type of treatment at my house. Because my wife, now she loves everybody, but she has a special category for the people that she really loves. And Pastor Womack is at the top of the list. So. The only reason she loves me is because I love her husband. Yeah. <laughs> and, I can, and I can get away with a lot of stuff if I just say what Pastor Womack said. <laughs> and the second part, he can't even talk to me. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, well, I'm excited to be here on today and to um, be with you guys and, um, and just to celebrate, celebrate your pastor. And man, praise God for pastor. Give pastor another round of applause. You know, you're really excited right about making disciples, and it's good to see that um, you have a pastor who's poured into somebody else's life. And boy, not just that I poured into my life, but now you can see the evidence of what he has done. And so we're excited, Pastor, for what you have done and the fruit that is bearing. And praise God for your ministry. And praise God for what you guys have done, what you're doing, and what you are going to do. Um, I'm excited about the Andrews family because, um, you know, it was a, it was a God thing. Uh, we, um, I saw them, and um, you feel a nudge of the Holy Spirit just pulling your heart sometime. And I don't use that word all the time because I think we overuse it, but it was really the touch of the Holy Spirit. Because you know what? God is doing something in their life that you ought to be a part of. And so, you know, I was thinking about the attributes that um, really drew me to you guys. I kind of wrote one down, okay? Um, the first one is the Andrews family. They are magnetic. Amen? You know, you just come around and there's something that just draws you to them. Um, number two, they're extremely energetic. <laughs> Leaders 
have great energy. Right. And that's one of the things you don't see on assessments and books and stuff, but when it comes to great leaders, any great leader you look at, they have great energy. Yeah. Number three, I said they have gigantic vision. Yeah. You know, um, Pastor Andrews doesn't think small. And uh, he thinks big, he thinks the next step, and great leaders think about the next step. Not just the step you're on, but the next step you're going to take. Yes. They asked Wayne Gretzky, they said, Wayne, um, you know, what made you so great um, as being a hockey player? And Wayne Gretzky said, you know, he's one of the greatest ever when it comes to hockey. And Wayne Gretzky says, most people play where the puck is. I play where the puck is going. <laughs> and, uh, with the Andrews family, they play where the puck is going. Amen? I mean, you all are sitting here right now. They could have been started in some little small building, some little chump building. They took a year to plan, trust God, put together a team, train their leaders, and do it with excellence. Amen? Amen. They have gigantic vision. Um, the next thing is um, they are iconic and iconoclastic. You know, it's just some people you come around and they almost just seem bigger than life. Yeah, yeah. And when you got with Pastor Andrew, you know, you this, are you talking to three people or one person? He got all this stuff that's comedy. He tells you about books he's read and experience. Now, he ain't but about 20 years old. You know, I come to him, what's up, young minister? What's up, young man? <laughs> Iconoclastic. Um, next, I think they are neoclassic. And they are neoclassic. They have a respect for tradition, but implement those things that are innovative and pressing forward. Amen? Yeah, amen. And they have a respect for the past, but are implementing things that are um, um, that are characterized by our contemporary times. Yes. Next, they are strategic and systematic. Yes. You know, um, at the level they are today, um, they've got things in place that many churches don't have been after 20 years. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Church, but they're thinking about how can they be a blessing to the people that they're serving, yes. people who come to Christ, maturing people in Christ, deploring you to go about doing your service. Um, they've already started plans to go overseas and impact people over there. Um, they are also, I call it telic, and telic comes from the term teleos, and teleos means purposeful and intentional. Mm. Yeah. You know, um, they they live life intentionally. Amen. I mean, all of you all receive bags today. You look inside your bag. You got tissues to cry with. <laughs> You got pens to write with. You got, you got information and background about their ministry. You got a brochure in there. I mean, they are very intentional yeah. and perfect about what they're doing. Next, they are emphatic. They don't want to just be here. A guy told me one time, they said, when you leave, make sure they know you were there. Uh -huh. When you leave the presence of the Andrews, you know that you were in their presence. Amen? And then lastly, I think they are realistic. They know what it takes. Pastor, I was talking about embracing the process. And they are people of process. So I'm just excited about them. I'm excited about how hard you guys have worked. I'm excited about what God is doing. And um, I just want to be a part of what God is doing in your life. Amen. Amen. Well, if you will, give them a round of applause.